Well, fuck. Now look at that. Our mysterious survivor has woken. Speak with Jaspar. Wait, where am I? Who are you? Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are at my very own campsite. Before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into the thicket. Most of your injuries are only superficial, but your fever, well, that's a different story. How do you know about the Fakothri? Were you there when they attacked? I was on the perimeter. And no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered. Two, I'm quite fond of my entrails. I oh, wish I point. had a more heroic answer, but I don't. Sorry. Wait, what do you know about my fever? Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from Arcanist's fever. Honestly, I'm surprised the old Apothecarius didn't see that. Let me guess, you're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the Bard songs, right? You're unusually strong, you have reflexes like a cat, and drinking potions or any kind of magically infused substance leaves a bitter afterglow in your head. Yes. Well then, congratulations. Your magical talent just blossomed. A bit late, given your age, but it happens. Put simply, the fever is a result of your body not being able to cope with it. That's not much of a problem for now, but if you don't let an arcanist treat you sometime soon, things are going to get grim. So an arcanist will be able to cure this fever. Contain it, not cure it. From here on out, you're always going to be a little more sensitive than someone without magical gifts. But that's tolerable compared to what your magic will allow you to do. Started arcane fever. Find a way to restrain the arcane fever. I will indeed. Hmm. Knowledge. What do you mean by a, a little sensitive? Prone to certain conditions. As I said, your fever will get worse if you drink healing potions. But you'll also be a lot more susceptible to nightmares and those kinds of things. Also, you should be very cautious of areas with magical contamination, such as Thalgard in the east. If I contain the fever, but they get worse, what are the consequences? At first, diffuse headaches and general unease. Later on, your eyesight will blur, your limbs will grow weak, and you'll get a maddening itch all over your body. If you leave it untreated for too long, you'll either die or turn into an orbaya. Wait, it can kill me? And what's an orbaya? Yes, it can kill you. Everything has its price, as the wise hermit likes to say. And an orbaya is basically a giant undead version of yourself with tumors and pus all over your body. Just never let the fever get too bad. Are there any other rem 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 remedies for this? Well, there's ambrosia, but for an uncontained fever, it will only postpone the symptoms. Later, you can drink it whenever the fever gets worse. The stuff looks and tastes like undead sweat and is bloody expensive, but it's the only thing that really helps. That sounds grim. That sounds fucking grim. Huh, and what about these visions? Are they also caused by the fever? You have visions? Uh, for lack of a better word, yes. Ever since I've had this fever, I get strange premonitions of things that are about to happen. Are they also a symptom? Um, not that I know of. The only visions I've ever had are those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. Oh, hell yeah. You know what? As I said, someone needs to contain your fever as soon as possible. And as it happens, I know people. But in return, I want you to tell me everything. What did you do in that temple? And what's the story with those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you. And that intrigues me. What do you say? Uh, treat me for information. All right. Well, then the stage is yours. Hmm. I see. 
My condolences for your loss. So, let me summarize. You somehow survived getting thrown into the open sea, and while you were half dead, had this dream in which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light? Yes, but it wasn't just a dream, it was more like a memory. The temple I saw it in was the same one, one in the valley. Huh. And you also said that your magic didn't develop gradually, as it usually does, but all at once, right? Right. After I washed up on the shore, yes. Together with those visions. Well, that's quite the story. I guess you know how absurd it sounds, but for some reason, I believe you. I've met a lot of liars in my life, and you aren't one of them. All right, it's settled then. I'll introduce you to my employer and ask him to treat you. Before we leave, however, there's something else I need to take care of, and I can use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can make for Ark. A knowledge. What's Ark? Ark? The capital of this country? Walls high as towers of iron hard stone rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned. Never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by Malthus, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Hey, you're going to see it soon. Sounds good to me. Uh, um... I want to know more. Who's this employer of yours? Well, aren't you curious? I work for the Holy Order. The Holy Order? You mean the enforcers of the Lightborn? Yeah, but they're more than just a military unit here. Enderal belongs to Malthus, the Guardian God, and the Order answers directly to him. In other words, they're calling the shots here. No king, no queen, no council. Just an order of noble warriors always looking so stern and joyless that you might think they're struggling with constipation. <laughs> uh, what if I want to do this on my own? Um, up to you. But without me accompanying you, the guards won't let you into the Sun Temple in Ark. And that's the only place you can get your fever treated. Well, shit. Alright, I'll help you. The faster I get rid of this fever, the better. Splendid. You'll need some information before you can help me, though. I take it the fact that Vin has seen better times hasn't eluded your attention, has it? For the last two years, there have been wars and unrest everywhere. And even though in Enderal there is officially peace, there are peculiar things happening here, too. Normally docile animals and batirs attacking wanderers in the open. The dead awakening in hordes. It's unsettling, to say the least. The strangest thing, however, is the red madness. Do you think this chaos could any way relate to the rumors about Lightborn's death? Everyone in their room talks about them. Yeah, the rumors. I I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true, and that there's a connection, yes. Then you actually believe the gods... Believe that someone did kill the gods, the Lightborn? As I said, maybe. If you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than imposters anyway. False gods. And here I thought the Enderalian... Andrelians were the most pious people in the civilized world. Oh, I'm hardly representative. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And the false deity theory isn't that new, after all, is it? Seriously, say the Lightborn really are as mighty as the Revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to call down lightning on me right here and right now to punish me for my insolence? No. The Lightborn were immortal kings, and that's all. At least, that's how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Still waiting for that lightning. <laughs> uh, still waiting for that lightning. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get along just fine. But we digress. Right, he mentioned something about red madness. Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their mind. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was a smith in Ark who butchered his entire family. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like fear the light while he was doing it. Or a young woman of noble path who set her own house on fire while her family was asleep. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen incidents in a very short period of time. 
The fact that the afflicted's eyes glow red while they go rampant has made people call the disease the Red Madness. Thing is, some weeks ago it happened again. Only this time it was a magister from the Holy Order itself. A, a magister? A teacher who instructs the novices aspiring to become keepers. His name was Yarrow. A man with more than 60 winners on his back. What did he do? Well, according to the sole survivor, he entered the teaching room that day as usual. But instead of giving his lecture on alchemy, he gave a strange kind of speech where he kept going on about how mankind is corrupted and that it has succumbed to the void. Then his eyes started glowing, he locked the door and blew himself up in a magical explosion. Well, that's horrible. Yes, it is. So what's your role in all this? You said you work for the Order. I take it you're no monk. <laughs> I'm not one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. My specialty is recovering lost things. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. And the Order hired me to do just that. They want to know how a man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. And thus, if there's something like a pattern to this malady. You're after his motives, but how can I help you with that? I don't know anything about the Magister. Doesn't matter. Yero grew up in a small village not far from here. And according to the Order, he visited it quite often after his partner died. What I want your help with is finding clues as to why he did what he did. What do you think? Sounds like a plan to me. Great. First of all, I want you to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred, a childhood friend of Yarrow's. Ask him what he makes of the incident and whether he has any explanation for it. Secondly, a farm boy told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the sea during his last visit there. The winds have been blowing inland the last couple of days, so go search the shoreline and see if it washed up. I myself will take a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Ah, and here. This is the map of the region. Yarrow's house is at the blue dot. So, unless there's anything else, I'd say let's step to it. Just meet me at the farm when you're done. Okay, sounds good. If a quest objective is marked by more than one stars, they indicate difficulty of said quests. At the same time, if you level, you should have... You should have... For the quest. Uh, very easy, easy, medium, hard. Okay, perfect. Complete dispute with Yasuda. Talk with Yarrow, Charles, and Feld. Alfred, find the strong box that Yarrow threw into the sea. Huh? You said that your name is Jasper Matumu. Mi, mi, I can't say. Matumulu Derek Valk. Isn't Dao a title of nobility here in Enderal? Huh. Well observed. Yes, I am indeed sublime by my path, but please just ignore that, will you? I'm not a big fan of titles. Most of the time, they're just a means for boring people to feel superior towards others. That's fair. You said your job is recovering lost things. Does that mean you're some kind of treasure hunter? Treasure hunter? That has a nice ring to it. But, uh, hmm. But let's just say I help people to fulfill certain materialistic desires of theirs. Just like the Holy Warden who brings back the lost shoe to the Maiden. Only the Maiden pays me to do it. And I have a more flexible conscience, so to speak. The Mysterious Cell Sword. Hmm, I like that. You do? That's good. But let's save the socializing for later, okay? Usually I am always in for a good talk, but for now let's focus on the mission. Sounds good to me. Okay. Let's see what you've got. Can I take... I'll take that. Ooh. Ark the Butcher, Fellow of the Fire. Oh god, that is a lot to read. Okay, I'm just going to pick that up. Started the Butcher of Ark. That was a quest book. There's another pumpkin there. Huh? Ollie. What time is it? It is 8.20 a.m. Oh, that music though. Right. Okay. 
Let's have a looky down this way, shall we? Because this is Cern Coast, where we uh, encountered the apothecaries. And I want to have a look, see what's down here. Old damn lookout discovered. Okay, let's start at the apothecaries camp. See what's about here, see if we can loot, loot them up. Oh shit. Search bandit, you've got a lot of shit. I'm just gonna take all your shit, okay? You killed my friends, okay? Search car boss. Badger the apothecary. I'll take that. Oh, hello. I might increase the field of view a bit. That music is so beautiful. All these barrels are empty, aren't they? Yep. Oh, now we can't harvest the rabbit. Life absorption. That is not bad. King's mead as well. Can't can't take any of those. I can take that. Where is the other guy? Finn. There he is. He's got some ambrosia. I will take his ambrosia. I like how these guys helped us and we're just stealing all their shit. That harp, yeah, I know, right? The music is on par with Skyrim's music. Skyrim's music is beautiful. And, uh, yes. It's on par with that, 100%. Balia's tongue. Okay, let's hop over here, see what we've got over here. I'm just gonna put a casual massive basket in my uh, in my pockets, you know. Ooh, blue quartz. That's a good find. Oh, more blue quartz. Oh, more blue quartz. That is very good. Looks like this is like a quartz mining place almost. Yes, there is. And I'm sure we'll hit it sooner or later. I'm sure we'll hit it sooner or later. I'm pretty sure we will. You never know. You never know with these sort of games. Hmm, exactly. Sup, sup, exactly. Okay, is there anything in this damn water? Oh. I can't see anything in this water. Nothing at all. That's even better then. Hmm, indeed. Okay, let's go check out this house and uh, see what's going on, shall we? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I didn't actually hear the alert go off. How bizarre. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Let's go into the old damn lookout. 
I do want to regenerate health before we go in there, so... Um, let's check our food. Where is our food? Our food is here, okay. Is it? No, that's our alchemy ingredients. Ah, it's in here. Red apple, of four points. Let's just regenerate a little bit of health. I don't trust anything right now. That pumpkin pretty much did it, okay. Old damn lookout. 